So a year ago, I made this same video and it did really good. That being the case, why do I have it unlisted? It's because some of the things I said in that video were wrong. And I honestly, I could do a way better video, which is why we are here today. So this is 10 things that will ruin your Genshin account. Before we start, I need to state one thing. Nothing can truly ruin your account. These are just useful things to know so that people don't end up in a terrible state. <clears throat> it's just a really good title. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about, building too many characters at once. What happens when you do that is that you run out of resources very, very fast. And there are lots of characters in this game and if you're a new player especially, you're going to start out and see all these characters and you're not going to know who to play, who you're going to eventually main as, you know, your main character that you love to play. There's just so many characters. And with that lack of knowledge, people will end up just building characters just because they're low level. That's a big issue because you end up running out of resources and materials very quickly. So the best way to go about this is to focus on, you know, a main team first. And this is mainly the team that you're going to be using everywhere in the open world and pretty much just, you know, anywhere, right? Of course, there'll come a time where you're going to need to build other characters. But as long as you build a main team of characters, which consists about four, as long as you do that, they will carry you through a lot of the content. Now, when you move on to the quote unquote end game of Genshin, which is this spiral abyss, things can change. But that's more later down the road where you're free to do, you know, pretty much anything at that point. But for newer players, it's best to focus on a main set of characters. Since we are talking about this, let's move on to the second thing I want to talk about. It's building them the wrong way. There's a process to it, and depending on how you do it, your character is going to suck, right? The main thing is that you want to level up their guaranteed upgrades, meaning getting them up to max level is pretty ideal. Now, you don't have to get every character level 90, but the characters that scale on HP, defense, or attack, or even dendro characters want to be at level 90, and there's nothing wrong with that. The next thing is you don't want to forget about their talents. These talents are very important to their damage and to their usefulness. And if these are still like level one or level two, your characters are going to suck. They're not going to be at their max potential. Really, the last thing you want to do is fully grind out artifacts. I know how it be seeing a character that you really want hit crazy damage, seeing their crit ratio. You want to get to that same point. So you end up farming artifacts. Save artifacts for the last thing to do for your characters. Get the guaranteed upgrades first. Now this actually moves me on to their weapon, which of course you want to get their weapon leveled up all the way because the stats on weapons really matter. Do not put like level 50, level 20 weapons on your characters. Like if you look at me, I still have quite a bit of weapons that need to be 90 which you know them being not 90 isn't the biggest deal but they could be way better as long as you get them to their fully max your character is going to be upgraded already tldr do everything else save artifacts for later since we are talking about artifacts one of the things that can be a big mistake is poor artifact management now what do i mean by this farming them way too much can be a big issue. There are lots of artifacts and most characters end up being really damn good with really good artifacts. And people might spend too much time here grinding out artifacts that aren't even good. The issue with that is you could be using all that resin you spent on artifacts on your guaranteed upgrades for your character. Now there does come a point where you do need to grind artifacts, but again, like I mentioned earlier, you want to save that for last and especially if you are before AR 45 grinding artifacts is not worth it at all now why that is is because in fact at AR 45 you are able to guarantee yourself 
five star artifacts and grinding before that you're probably just going to start getting four star artifacts just because you have bad rng save this for later and worry about your character's guaranteed upgrades first now there's more to this actually when you do get to the point of artifact grinding there's one thing you don't want to do that's foddering artifacts say that you know you have a decent piece on your characters already but you get another similar piece that could be better so then what you do is fodder that already equipped piece that you have onto them into the new one and that new one happens to be worse just wait level up the new one separately see how it ends up if it's worse use it into a different piece right or save it for a different character it happened to me before and i really hated myself another thing is to not worry about the bonuses these bonus effects from artifacts the best way to think about these is stats over sets stats is what really matters because if i worried about these bonuses but the substats were just straight up ass my character ain't doing crap so if you get a god piece that has great stats don't be afraid to set them on your character for now sure you won't have a bonus but that bonus might not be good enough for your character anyway the stats will just be better tldr don't farm artifacts until you're ar45 and when you're ar45 save it for the last thing of your characters don't fodder artifacts stats over sets now let's move on poor resin management you know this kind of relates to everything i've said before if you use up all your regin regin resin you dumbass if you use it all up into artifact domains and get trash artifacts that's wasted resin so if you use it instead into like weapon materials boss materials it's way better use of resin and another thing is you'll notice something like fragile resin i think the best way to use fragile resin is always on guaranteed rewards mora xp books you know materials in general i hardly don't ever use these on artifact domains now of course you can if you want to but i think it's best to save these for you know those guaranteed upgrades A another good way is to save these for future characters for example i'm saving it for arlequino when she comes out I'm going to use these all up on her boss materials because you can't pre-farm them. So things like that is a good use of fragile resin. Another thing is you'll see here is I'm capped on resin, not using at all. There's no thing where it over caps and it goes into a reserve box, which, you know, is sad. I wish we had that. Some people might be, you know, scared that, you know, they're wasting their resin because they're not using it. If you're not playing the game, that's fine. But one way you can solve this issue is condensing it. Now, what is condensing, you may ask? When you don't feel like playing the game, just come to your nearest crafting bench and condense your resin into four of these. Now that way, your daily resin will start to regenerate and you have these which are double rewards. So it's better use for farming stuff. It's quicker and faster. Plus, you can save it for the next day. If you don't have condensed resin, there's actually a thing that you can learn the blueprints for and actually get the get the blueprint to craft craft redense. God damn it, Zhongli, what the hell are you doing, bro? To get the condensed resin recipe, you gotta go to the reputation bender in Liwa. You gotta get to the desired level which is level three nothing crazy just get there and you can make condensed resin we'll talk more about reputation a bit later another thing that can be a problem not pre-farming for a future desired character because pre-farming for characters is the best way to build characters it's not the biggest deal if you don't but it's just so much easier and it saves a lot of time because if you wait upon release of a character whether it's a rerun or not you're gonna spend like a week or two building that character afterwards and i think just having every resource every material ready upon release you can build that character right away and have fun with them i am in fact doing the same exact thing for our lakino i'm pre-farming her getting getting as much more as i can as much xp books as i can right now and you know just everything else for her if you want to know how I do it, look up a character's 
materials and requirements and then use a wonderful thing called the Genshin Interactive Map. Just put that into Google and you'll get something very useful that will help you find every resource you would ever need. It's so good. Now, let's go back to reputation. If you don't do reputation, there's a point where you don't have to do it. But what you want to do is actually get enough reputation for some of the useful stuff like condensed resin. If you don't have condensed resin, things can be problematic, right? But other things like uh, treasure compass, which, which is very easy to find treasure, of course. Over here at Mondstadt, you can actually get things like a resonance stone. You can actually get these for a lot of places. It helps you find oculisms in case that you missed one or whatever. But then you got things like this, the NRE. Essentially allows you to eat food without going to your inventory, which, you know, is a big help in a lot of scenarios, especially for co-op. And then you got things like portable waypoints, which is very useful. If you forget about reputation and, you know, don't get this stuff, it's, it's, not the craziest thing you can live without it but they're just so useful why not try and get it and get that portable waypoint so you don't have to walk five miles to a, a boss you know what i mean be sure to worry about your reputation you don't have to get it to the max if you don't want to but uh just get it up to you know the useful stuff now another thing or two that can be a detriment is chasing meta or not chasing meta why chasing that might be a bad thing is because it requires characters that you might not enjoy at all. Which, if that's the case, don't chase meta. Play the characters who you want, right? There's nothing wrong with that. On the other hand, if you don't chase meta, it can be a problem too. Because if you end up planning to do the Spyro Abyss later on and you don't have these quote unquote meta characters built, you're not gonna be clearing it. I did the same thing early on. I built, I played who I wanted to play. And then eventually down the road, I decided that I wanted to be good at the game, right? So I built characters like Bennett. He's just too good, right? Gives you a buff in damage and can heal you really good. It's just so good. I'll do another example. Yao Yao. I'm not really, you know, I don't know anything about the character. Not really, you know, the biggest fan, but she's also a really good dendro healer and applicator. I just had to build her a little bit, you know, and I wouldn't even say she's essentially meta, but I, it's just an example. If you don't care about endgame, what endgame there is, play who you want. Do what you want. If you want meta, that's not a bad thing. It's not terrible. If you don't want meta, that's fine too. Now, one of the biggest things that can ruin your account is rushing the game. If you rush the game way too fast, you're gonna get burnt out really quickly. Now, that's not a bad thing because if you're enjoying the game, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're enjoying it, you're playing it, you're just having a blast, that's fine. This is more of just a little bit of advice to, you know, pace yourself don't know life the game like crazy you know because you're gonna get to a point where you're just like damn so pace yourself another thing that can be really bad is not having fun we're here to have fun don't let others ruin it for you there are people that will shove this and that down your throat saying this character is bad saying that character is really good but you don't like them just like throwing all this crap into your face you know, judging you by your low damage and everything else, you know, people will backseat game you, people will tell you what to do, just, no, forget about them, forget about them, have fun with the damn game, don't let other people say it's a bad game, because Genshin, in fact, is not a bad game, it could be better, yes, but it's not a bad game, have fun with it, enjoy it, you do you, and, uh, yeah, that's the last thing you need to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other advice or tips for players, leave them down below. Yes, I know these are more meant for new players, but if it helps older players too, there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like my content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Ah, Zhongli, I want you inside me.